Hi friends, my name is Felicia and I'm so glad that you are joining me today. We're going to do a Molly of Denali activity today. Molly of Denali is a PBS kids show that's set in the fictional village of Kaya in Alaska. Molly and her family are Gwich'in, Koyukon, Dana'ana. Th these groups represent some of the Native American tribes of Alaska. Alaska Natives are people who are indigenous to or originally from Alaska. Molly has two best friends in the show also, Tui and Trini, and don't forget her dog, Suki. Molly and her family believe in Alaska Native values. They are very important to them. Molly loves the outdoors. Do you? I know I do. Respecting the environment is one of those Alaska Native values. I'd like to share all nine with you. The first one is showing respect to others. Number two is sharing what you have. Three, knowing who you are. Four, accepting what life brings. Five, having patience. Six, living carefully. Seven, taking care of others. Eight, honoring your elders. And nine, seeing connections. Today, we are going to make a spotting scope to help us observe things in nature that are around us. You might be able to spot some things like plants and animals or other things that are in nature, maybe even some insects. We're going to need some materials to make our project today. We are going to need some cardboard tubes, the long ones like from paper towels or short ones that come from like toilet paper. Uh, you're going to need some tape or glue, construction paper, scissors, string, markers, or crayons, decorating supplies like pom-poms, glitter, or stickers. So right now, take a moment to pause the video, look around your house to gather the things that you'll need for this project, and then come back for the instructions. Instructions for building something like the spotting scopes that we're going to make today are called informational text. Molly uses informational text a lot. When she is using a map, when she's following a family recipe, or when she's making something really cool like the spotting scopes that we're going to make today. And I have my instructions too, and I'm going to use those to help you make your project. The first thing we're going to need today is to have our paper tubes, and there are a couple of options. We can make a paper tube spotting scope by putting two smaller tubes together to make a longer one, or you can go ahead and use just one of them and decorate it this way, or you can put two of them side by side and you can make a spotting scope that looks like this with two of them side by side. So after you tape the tubes together, you are going to go ahead and wrap the tubes with construction paper. So at home you have bits of construction paper and you don't have to use a whole brand new sheet. You can go ahead and use your scraps and you can wrap those up and just secure it with a piece of tape. I'm going to make mine just a little bit tighter here so it's nice and snug. And put my tape on to secure it so it stays on. If you want to, the next couple of steps are optional. You can ask a grown-up to help out using a pair of scissors and poke two small holes on either side of your scope. And it could go on the long one or it can go on the double one or the singular one if that's what you did. And then after you do that, you're going to need to get some string and cut a piece of string. And your grown up is going to need to go ahead and put that string through the hole and then tie a knot, just like it's done here to secure it. And after you do that, then you will have a strap to put around your neck to hold your spotting scope. The last step here is my favorite step of all. The last step is the decorating step. So you can use stickers that you might have, um, all different shapes, sizes, and colors. You can use your crayons or markers and you can decorate, or you can add glitter and pom-poms if you have those kinds of things too. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a tree on mine to get started on this one. So you can go ahead and 
you can decorate it any way that you want to. Here's one. I like this one. This has some of my favorite colors and some of my favorite characters. There's Molly and there's Suki. Now, of course, this is mine, but I want you to show me yours. I want to see what you did. Wow, that looks really great. I like that a lot. I wonder what kinds of things do you think that you will spot when you are outside looking at nature and looking around? Do you think maybe you'll find some plants or some animals and other living things? I bet you'll find some non-living things too while you're out there. Whatever you do while you're outside looking and whatever you see, I hope you have a lot of fun outside. That's the most important part. Have fun and learn more about nature. I'm going to take a little break before I go out exploring, and I'm going to explore this awesome book from Molly of Denali, Crane Song, and I'm going to see what kinds of things in nature Molly finds in her village when she is out exploring. For more fun with Molly, including games, videos, and printable activities, visit pbskids.org slash molly, and you can also go to pbslearningmedia.org and search for Molly of Denali. Have fun!